This RPG Maker MV tutorial was suggested by... Uh... Actually, uh, I don't really know how to pronounce his name. I've been informed that Google Translate on Russian says it correctly? Uh... Well... This tutorial was suggested by... Pizza. Alright, let's begin. What's up guys, my name is Require Storm, and today we have another RPG Maker MV tutorial. That's actually a suggestion, Su suggestion for once. Well, there's a first for everything. Uh, this time we're gonna be talking about indoor doors. Now I have two variants ready, so we're gonna get straight into the venting right now. So uh, there's only a door here, so that I can compare the two events. But uh, let's check the actual event of the door because apparently. It, it still keeps the same events. Now, first of all, we had this normal sound effect, open one. These two things are essentially kept the same, except for the fact that the step forward that's taken from the other door event, uh, we'll see here, uh, yeah, this step forward, um, is duplicated. And it's a wait command, it's not a skip command, although I guess you can make it a skip command. So, in this house here, when you interact with this door, you're gonna step forward, but then you're gonna step forward again to make it through to the other side. Now we have a conditional event. If player is facing up or if player is facing down, they will they will turn towards the door to make it look like they're closing it. Then this event will be pretty much the opposite or inverse order of this event. So turn so the root off, turn up, wait three frames turn right, turn, wait 3 frames, turn left, then another 3 frames, then another sound effect to make to make a sound that when it closes, and then you'll be, uh, you'll turn down, I guess. This next part is gonna be kind of more difficult than the first variant, but uh, I guess it's worth mentioning here that this part essentially is based off a tutorial made by Zero AV Gaming. Very underrated channel, actually. Their tutorial on this specific uh, topic was very well done. Uh, where you actually go through the wall, and then, well, you'll see. Uh, so we're gonna go into this event here. We're actually gonna have two events, but this is our basically our normal door event. Now we're gonna we're gonna have this open sound effect once again. But then here's the catch here: turn left, wait three frames, turn right, wait three frames, turn up. But then, you don't step forward yet, or at least the the, the through on will be on here, because the player. Well, I guess this is basically the same thing, but actually no, you have to have on a player so that you can go through this wall. You need to have through on, take one step forward, change your opacity to one twenty five so that it looks like so the player knows that you're in the wall or your character's in the wall. Then you take another step forward, then you're gonna turn down, close the door, so basically the same thing as last time. Then you then the player, another player set movement route event, part of it, is gonna move up once more, change the opacity to 255, and through will be turned off. But we're not done yet. Cause we have this second one, where it's essentially gonna be similar, but not really. So you open it once once again. Player has a wait event. Turn through on immediately. It's kind of going to be the opposite of the other one actually. Opacity one twenty five. Take another step forward. Turn the turn the door so that it's open. Player takes another step forward. Changes the opacity. Takes another step forward. Turn up. Through off. And the door closes once more. And basically, that's all that's going to happen. Door's gonna be closed, you're gonna be on the other side, depending on where you are. Um, I guess this is worth, worth mentioning just as an additional uh, point here. Um, all these events can be player touch events, but they can also be interactable events, I guess. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter, but don't quote me on that. So uh, we're gonna get into how it's gonna look like right now. Well, I mean, you may have seen this in, well, the preview, but in case you haven't, here it is again. Alright, so, we gotta enter at this door. 
We go forward, and we close it behind us. So, mission accomplished. But if we go in again, we close it behind us again. It works both ways. So, I'd say that's mission accomplished for this variant. For this one, we go in the door, change opacity, and go through the wall. And again, we do the same thing from the other side. So I'd like to say it's mission accomplished. Again. I said that again, but... Oh well. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I have a tutorial planned for next week. Hopefully the week after will be a demo day finally. And then, so, uh... I actually might have a, tutor a, a tutorial idea for the week after. So... No tutorial suggestions until July? Maybe? At least second week? Unless I have something else planned, and I don't know, but... Yeah, that's, that's kind of something you got, you got to take into mind. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. See you guys, and stay safe.